Those green PCBs on your processors are called substrates. It's something that is crucial to the operation of any processor, but never really given any thought about. At least not by normal people like us. Luckily, Intel has been thinking about substrates, and after a decade of development, they have made the next breakthrough in this technology. Typically, we see these substrates made out of organic materials and made like any other printed circuit board. One key issue we have seen recently on the rise is warping. With enough power being put through a substrate generating heat combined with uneven pressure distribution, and warping is inevitable. Intel has already been having issues with this as we have seen with the switch the chip dimensions with their 12th generation processors. Now, there have been aftermarket solutions to help, but this should not be something needed. As just mentioned, heat is an issue too since the organic materials used in the substrates is not actually an insulator, but a semiconductor, which also leads to a loss of power and signal degradation. This alone is one of the biggest issues with organic substrates and why it don't see organic materials used for anything more than PCBs. That's why silicon substrates fill that need manufacturers have for actual dyes used for processing. The solution to all of these problems? Glass. That's right, the same material that your windows are made out of. Why? Because it's better in every facet compared to current technology. Glass is a great insulator, which means more efficient power delivery and stronger signal delivery, meaning we can clock processors to a higher frequency and consume less power when doing so. On top of that, since glass is a great insulator, it will lead to the ability to pack transistors and relays denser than ever before. As a new technology matures, it could lead to a future where it surpasses the silicon substrate technology used for dyes in modern day processors. Intel claims that this could lead to a transistor density 10 times greater than what we have today. And that's well off in the future though. But while on the topic of silicon, it is expected to hit its limit in transistor density in the end of the decade, which is the exact window Intel has planned to release these new substrate designs to the public. And even though we are years off from its theoretical limits of silicon, we are already starting to see its limits nowadays with manufacturers like Intel and TSMC struggling to have decent yields on larger and larger dyes and of so shrinking nodes. This has led to companies like AMD making the move over to a chiplet design. But even with the move over to chiplets, things are still being limited by the organic subrates connecting them. And that is exactly where Intel plans to implement their first use of their new glass technology. With better power delivery, thermals, and signal integrity, you can pack more chiplets onto a single substrate and in a smaller space. Now while AMD is the only company that uses chiplets, Intel may actually be moving to the chiplet design, and this could be as soon as their 14th generation processors from what recent leaks have been telling us. And this could help Intel achieve their goal of 1 trillion transistors in a single package by 2030. And if you want to know more information about this, go ahead and watch this video over here, and I'll see you next time.